Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add hyperlinks with hyperref to your LaTeX document, so to your PDF. So LaTeX is a great tool to create professional looking documents, but we also want to add navigation to the document. So let me show you what I mean. I want that when a user open our PDF and click here in the table of content and click on first section, as you can see the cursor changes and when he clicks to that link he's going to be redirected to the first section or when he clicks on an equation he's going to be redirected to that equation. So we have a lot of type of references that we can add in our document with the package hyperref. I'm going to show them all to you. I'm going to show you how to change the color of the references. So for the moment as you can see they are all colorful. I will show you later on in the video how to change the font color and I will show you all the things that you need to know about the hyperref package in later. So for this example I'm going to be using Overleaf. Of course you can compile your document also locally on your computer and this is going to work irrespectively of where you compile the document and I'm going to use a document class article for this example. Of course you can use the hyperref package also in different type of document class such as book. At the beginning here I'm importing some default packages and I'm creating a title, author and date. This is not a part of the scope of this video to teach you about how to set up a document, but the scope of this video is to talk about the hyperref package. So the first thing that we need to do is if you want to use the hyperref package, we have to of course import this package. So after importing the package hyperref, we can use hyper setup to specify the color of the links. Just keep in mind that it's a good practice to put this use package hyperref at the end of your import. So try to keep it always at the end. So don't put it at the beginning because that may cause issues. So just put it at the end after you imported the other packages, if it's possible. So inside our hyper setup, we are specifying that we want to have colorful links and we specify the color name of each uh, type of link. So we're going to have link to the first section, links in the in document, which are going to be in blue, link to file, which are going to be in magenta, URL link, which are going to be in cyan, and site color, when we're going to cite a document, is going to appear in green. Of course, we can change this. So let me compile the document, and to show you that the link is blue, and then of course, if I say red, and I recompile the document, then the link color is going to change to red. So you can tweak that based on your need and based on your liking. Of course, as I previously mentioned, you can comment out this line and you can actually say hyper setup hide links and all the link are going to appear in black. So you still have the functionality of the link. So as you can see here, I can still click on the link, but the link color now is going to be in black. So let me go back and let me enable the colors again because I just want to show you and I think it's clearer if I show you the link of the color and I want to also talk about this command here that sometimes people miss and this is URL style. So why am I adding this command here? Because I want that the style of the text inside the link is exactly the same as the, uh, the, the text in the rest of the document. So in order to have that I'm saying URL style same. Let me show you actually the difference if I don't use that uh, comment. Let me comment it out. Let me recompile the document. And as you can see, the, the font has changed. It has changed because by default the hyperref package prints link in mono style space font. So we want the uh, blend with the text, so we just have to enable this command here, URL style same. Then we start with the begin document and we make the title. We also make a table of content, which is going to display all our sections. And then we add a clear page. So the first section is going to start in the next page. This is of course not necessary. It's just to show you that when I click here, the PDF is going to be linking me to this first section. So let me show you how to add a label and how to add a reference. So let me actually cancel this and we're going to recompile the document. So as you can see, right now it reads first section 
and then this will be an empty chapter and I will put some text here and I want to reference section 1. So how can I reference this for a section, section 1? I need to first put a label next to the section and we can do that by just typing label. A good practice is to add sec, S-E-C, semicolon, and then we can call it with the same uh, text that appears in the section. So we call it first section, and then we are going to compile the document. So now we have added only the label. The label, of course, is not going to appear here in the document, but now that we have defined the label, we can add a reference to it. How can we do that? So we put a tilde here, so it's a non-breaking space, and then we do a ref, and then here we can see that we have first section to reference, and then we just have to properly write it, and then we do compile, so control enter, and as you can see, now we are referencing section one. So if I click here, as you can see, the document moves up because I'm going to be redirected to this first section. So this is super handy because you can reference different section, and uh, different in different parts of the text. But of course, you're not only limited to reference sections, but you can reference equation and figures in the same way. So I don't have an example for the figure here in this document, but it's going to be exactly the same. As you can see, if you have, a, if you have an equation, we add a label. In this case, we are going to say equation, eq, semicolon, and then one, and then we're referencing in the text here. If we would have had a figure, we could have had the same fig, semicolon 1. Of course, the semicolon is not important, but I like to have it like this, so when I reference, so when I use the reference command and I get uh, suggestions, I know that I want to reference an equation, a section, or a figure. So then we can see, as I previously mentioned, here we are referencing the second section, so we can reference the section, but I want to show you a peculiarity here. So we can reference the section number with the command that I showed you before, reference, section, second, and this is the label of the second section. So if I scroll down here, you can see that there is the second section, which is at the bottom here, and then this is the label of the second section. But if instead of the number of the section, you want to reference the page number of the section, you can use this command here, page ref which is very handy because, of course, if I write more text here in the introduction on the first section, the second section, of course, may move to page 3, page 4, page 5. But this command will always keep track that we want to know the page of that section. And in fact, if you look at the text here, we are saying the page 3, because section 2, which I can click here, is in fact in page 3, as you can see. Of course, we are not limited to add references to section or to page references, but we can also add references to website. And we have two options. Either we print the URL, as you can see here, we can actually print the URL straight away, and that we can do it with, with the URL command, and then we put the URL in plain text here. But we can also put a placeholder text. So some, like here, I put it a placeholder text for this URL. So if I'm going to click on that URL, actually let me change it. I'm going to put Google inside. I'm going to recompile the document. So now if I click here on something linky, because this is the href. So if I'm going to click here, I'm going to be redirected to Google, which is very handy. So, of course, in your document, if this was your CV or your curriculum vitae, then you could have added a link to your personal website. We can also add a reference to a file. And we can also specify in Linux system what is the command that is going to be run when I click on this link here. One type of link that we haven't seen at the moment, actually two that we haven't seen so far, are the site, so how we can cite a document, and the hyperlink to another part of the text. So let me show you what we can do. So we can link directly any word or any sentence to your in your document. So if I want to add more explanation about this sentence here, so I can add the link here and I can color it in a different way. So when the user clicks here, it's going to be redirected to this section here. So how did we do that? So we added this hyperlink, which is the sentence. 
and then the sentence ID, so this ID here, has to be exactly the same in the target. So here we have added a target, and then this is the text that we want to display, which is going to be this sentence. Of course, uh, I, say, I could have said this word. And then if I recompile this, uh, the behavior is not going to change. So we can change the text that is displayed, uh, but when the user is going to click here, any sentence is going to be redirected here to this word. Finally, the last type of link that I want to show you is how to cite a paper. So of course we can change the citing style, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about that, but we can cite a paper, which we have it here in my bibliography. So I have of course a bibliography file here, where I have the information about that uh, citation. So let me just go back here in main text. I can cite this paper using the command cite p or cite. I have another video about how to cite documents, so I'm not going to go too much into detail here, but we can use the command cite and we can cite that document. And LaTeX automatically is going to add the reference for us. So of course you could have used cite p or cite. Cite p is usually put a, a parenthesis around the citation, but it depends on which type of um, bibliography style you use. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have any comment or if you have any question if I, or if I was not clear, please leave a comment down below in the comment section below. I really would appreciate if you could like this video if you found it interesting and if you could subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. I put the link down in the video description. That really helps me a lot. But if you don't want to, no problem. Please just like the video. Thank you very much for listening and see you next time.